<laughs> I take my phone <laughs> out of my iPhone holder. <laughs> my Craig Tool Jig makes a great iPhone holder. But <laughs> I'm here. I ordered a router table. And uh, for my router, I've got several different routers. And I'm going to mount one of them permanently. I like this small Makita because I can handhold it really easily. But I'm going to use my larger router for the new router table I've ordered. But I didn't have it, so I had to do it the old-fashioned way, just by hand, trying to hold it still, which is kind of hard to do uh, when you've got such a little flat ledge up here. It uh, makes it hard, you know, to hold it straight and flat. But anyway, we're working on the beehive. Got to do this one now. Find a good edge to do it on. But this is the uh, rabbited edge. The the rabbited uh, top boards fit into to make it flush. And then the door comes down. The door, <laughs> the lid comes down and sits on sits on top of them and holds them in. And this feature, this design feature that I came up with for this top bar beehive saved me. Uh, on my last hive, the bulls, if you want to go back and watch that video, um, maybe I'll put a link to it. They knocked the hive over, and but it survived because the frames were locked in place. Where are the frames? Here they are. There's one. The frames are sitting under this, like this. Well, there's bee space there. But... There's a, or the, the top boards are routed or rabbited too to, to sit like that, flush with the top. And these are, there was about a three eighths of an inch. But what it did was it kept them from, it kept them from coming out because the, it kept them from really doing anything but falling over the whole hive. But when we were able to just tilt the whole hive back up because I had the lid latched, the roof was latched. So we literally stood it back up and opened up the hive and the bees were fine. Of course, the moth, the hive, uh, the wax moths got them later. So anyway, new design on the, um, this video may go out before the one we filmed yesterday, but I've got only, I'm only allowing 10 inches now. There's less space underneath the frames um, felt like the bees just had too much space to defend, and so no duty. <laughs> anyway, uh, so make some improvements to the design, and uh, hopefully this year's hive will be good. But can't wait to get the router table because this stuff, this kind of stuff, will be a lot easier. Thanks, guys.